Here's my latest painting called Saint Berberi in the native tongue of local people, of local tribes in Oregon. They, it sounds like kimi kimik. And um, in Latin, it sounds like kimi kimik uva ursi. Uva ursi means grape of the bear, literally. And I just like how it rolls on my tongue, uva ursi. It's some sort of a, like a um, um, chant or something. <laughs> Um, when I walk in a forest, I like to look at a lot of different uh, creatures on the forest floor. And um, I usually like take photographs of them, like a centipede, morel mushroom, so you can see the snake, and little bird nest mushrooms. They're called bird nest mushrooms because the pores inside, they look like uh, little eggs. And um, that's plant itself, flowers and the berries. And all parts of this plant is edible. You can eat um, people, local people, the native people, they used to make teas out of it from the leaves, but there was very important part of a smoking mix that natives used for all kinds of rituals. And uh, local legend says that um, bear and otter, they ruled this part of the world. And once they pulled the tree of life. And um, they've never seen creatures they found inside of the root of that tree. So it appeared to be humans. And they were so scared of the bear, so they all ran away except this little girl. And of course, girl started to cry and bear, it was not just a bear, it was a very wise, very smart bear. So he looked inside of the girl's mouth and he realized that girl doesn't have a uvula, this little berry inside of our throat. It actually helps us to swallow, so food and water doesn't go up, but it also gives us ability to sing. So. So the bear picked up the berry and put it into the girl's mouth so she could have this uvula. But it also symbolizes that uh, nature gives us food and provides for us. That's why you can see this little girl in front of the bear. <laughs>